the title Fiorici Mimi Hardcore came from there was a show back in London in the early 90s um, all about Warhol Warhol took all these snapshots and he took taken one photograph uh, that was on a sort of dumpster around the back of Studio 54 right and on the dumpster it said Fiorucci made me hardcore So at the beginning of Fiorucci, you've got, um, it starts in the sort of I don't know, mid 70s, early to mid 70s. You had like Northern Soul. That's this weird um, little ecology that happened in the northwest of England, where the, the kind of this sort of ex mining community in Wigan um, became obsessed with like Motown. Uh, sort of 60s Motown, this is like early 70s, so they're obsessed with like Motown and then everyone moves on from Motown, they were like mods and then everyone moved on from Motown but they were still committed to it and, um, and so they started searching out all these rarities, these sort of Motown or, or kind of early soul R&B rarities and they built this kind of weird uh, like, like I say, like a weird ecology or weird, and a weird economy as well. It was all about trading records and all the rest of it. So that 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 begins there, and then my first kind of like um, I don't know, love of music is, is like, like I say, going to like what we call discos, um, like local discos, and um, and that time was like late seventies, early eighties. So it's that sort of. R&B, funk, the sort of digital D-train. Dance music, like as, a, as, a, as it was kind of, as a sort of blanket term that was coming, you know, it's coming from America. Um, and was always renewing itself, combining these different forms and like finding something new and like I say, you know, in, in, in terms of what I said before, always trying to, always sort of investigating what, what, what technology could do and what you could do with technology, you know what I mean? I, li I always liked that as well. That, that, was always, that was a part of it. And that became part of making the video as well because when I was making Fiorucci, the reason I could make Fiorucci is because of the, the kind of availability of cheap desktop computers. And also, I had this box that had just come out, which allowed you to transcode analog video to digital. You could start to do it at home in like late 90s. So it's the same, it's like the same as, you know, in Detroit finding like 303, old 303s and that. So it's that, that gives you the ability to kind of like make things. I don't know, it's in that same spirit, I guess, Fiorucci of like, technology giving you the avail availability to kind of just experiment. You're investing, you're putting this, you're putting your belief into something that is essentially aspirational, right? So it's about, it's always, there's always a kind of class dynamic to it, right? It's about, it's about something that's kind of unaffordable or out of reach or whatever and you're, and you're and you're aspiring to that and you're you're kind of over determining that thing right i guess that leads on to it that's what i always liked about subculture is it's it, to me it's a way of like essentially it's a way of the working class sort of how they reveal their intelligence <laughs> <laughs> 